Hey Remarkable Lifers, so today we're going to do something a little bit uh, out of the ordinary and a little bit of fun. It's not today, it's tonight. <laughs> today, tonight, we're on our way. <laughs> yeah, so we are actually going to the Lake Chapala Society tonight for a seven course culinary event um, and hold on I'm gonna refer to my phone here it is put on by the culinary <laughs> it's put on by the culinary institute at the Tecnológico Superior de Jalisco which is the um, the technology institute in um, Ajijic Chapala and it's the culinary division so these students are coming to do uh, this big seven course meal drink pairing um, as part of their final exam. They have to execute that and do it for a crowd of people uh, paying customers. This should be fun let's go see let's go on this adventure and see what this is. So we're gonna <laughs> head to the Lake Chapala Society we'll see you there. Good morning, Remarkable Lifers. It is the next day, and uh, we didn't film afterwards because we were stuffed and maybe a little tipsy. There was a lot of alcohol. Um, <laughs> 
but it was a really, really great experience last night at LCS. The Gastronomical Gala um, was really an interesting experience. And all of the money from the ticket sales benefited the school. Um, I'm sure, you know, LCS got a, a bit, but they're also a good organization to support. And we got to try some things that we never would have probably will never have again and just different types of dishes and combinations and flavors and it was really really an interesting experience so KJ tell me about your thoughts on the it event. was it was it was absolutely I thought it was amazing um, the dishes were delicious um, they were and like Craig said there I mean there were things that we ate that probably will never eat again what was really cool is after every course um, after they'd served every course and you'd had a chance to eat it and taste it, the, the student who designed uh, designed the, the, the dish and the student who designed the drink pairing both came out. And they talked about their dish or their drink down to like stories of how this dish was inspired by my grandmother's, uh, you know, pink mole. Um, I mean, it was really, they got very personal and it was really, really interesting to see that. And I enjoyed that a lot. Um, the, the principal of the culinary program, he's in the videos that you'll see. He was so super proud of all of his students. I, the way he spoke about them, he went table to table and he talked about the kids, the students. He talked about the Institute. Um, and you could tell he was just overflowing with pride. It was, it was a really, really cool experience. Yeah. I, I was really excited to get to see, uh, these students working and creating these dishes. It was so interesting to see they took such pride in it. Um, they were trying to do everything just perfect. I mean, you could see them over plating the food and they were just being so meticulous and cautious. Lower level students, maybe entry level students were doing serving um, and they were so meticulous to try to serve from the correct side and say thank you and you're welcome and just be so gracious and um, you know, it, it went off very, very well. I mean, they even lit drinks on fire. So you know, <laughs> it's kind of a fun thing. Um, I was really impressed by my favorite dish was probably the sunset, which seems, and then that, and I'll pop that up here, but that seems a little, uh, r traditional, but it was a very interesting dish because it was, had a cream, uh, cream base that had a corn, it was a corn base. It was actually delicious. Oh, that was delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was delicious. Everything was prepared properly and the pairing for the drink was perfect. Um, it just the, was so flavorful and memorable. And then I don't like lamb. And I actually tried the lamb shank or whatever that was. And, lamb and chop. Lamb chop. And it was delicious. And the, the, the meal, mole. the pink mole, the, <sighs> the uh, lady that created it, um, told that that was her grandmother's recipe that she was able to bring that into her uh, creation. So I thought that was really, really interesting. So, and we also, we were sitting at a table with a bunch of people here who live in Ihihi or the surrounding area who we never met, who we've never met. So it was really cool to get to know a lot of really new friends. And uh, that was, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, there's some good opportunities to meet people. Um, this is a very uh, diverse community, and we tend to go more towards the street tacos and, you know, uh, the free festivals and those kind of things. Our favorite little digs. Our favorite digs. So we tried to do something a little different, and we just wanted to bring that to you to show you that there's a, a wide variation of things to do and some amazing cuisine and food and events here in Mexico and it was worth every penny if you ask me <laughs> so um, we just wanted to bring that to you I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check out our other videos like share subscribe thank you so much for all of your support especially lately it's just been going off the charts so thank you and we will keep bringing you more content and if you haven't already go find your truly remarkable life Bye.